Good evening. I'm Jackie Park. And I'm Tim Callahan. If you live in Northeast Bakersfield, exciting changes may be coming soon. For years, development stalled following the housing crisis. Plans for grocery stores, senior housing, and medical offices all put on hold. But tonight, there is hope for new construction in the Northeast. 23 ABC's Carlos Correa has that story tonight. We're here at Dr. Douglas Fletcher Elementary School. It's a new building in this side of town, and it's surrounded by a growing community. Philip Cook is one of the many residents excited for the future of Northeast Bakersfield. Yeah, I was curious, uh, south of 178, where the Morning Drive Bridge is being built, it looks like there's a bike path. Will that be coming out towards the uh, sport complex anytime soon? Construction crews are busy working on the Morning Drive Interchange Project. It's a plan that began in the fall of 2013, and it's expected to be completed this July. Having a signal at um, 184 and 178, having a signal at Masterson and 178, this will enable people to circulate along 178, be able to head west instead of always having to head east because you can never turn around. Once that project is over, crews will begin to widen 178 to Miramonte, helping circulate where people travel and attract more than just new business. If you're looking for a home, what are you looking for? You're looking for good school. You're looking for transportation system. You're looking for park and recreation for your family. You're looking for all the things that we've been doing out here. The area is also getting a medical complex, which consists of four buildings and 120 new jobs. Well, we feel that having a facility of that size and that nature um, will help bring new businesses, commercial, residential, to the Northeast. The Mesa Marine Sports Complex is entering phase two. That means more softball fields, parking, and a dog park. It plans to also build a new spray park with the ability to handle the drought. This particular spray park and any of the new spray parks will be a recirculating system, so they'll be able to operate uh, even in low water use state. And Councilman Ken Weir plans to host similar community meetings, just like the one tonight, in the coming weeks. I'm Carlos Correa, 23ABC.